Hi, <laughs> everybody. Welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios, proudly powered by PCB Way. 8% off, link in the description. You know what to do. This is something I've been looking forward to for so, so long because I've, I've been talking about the Mimaki 3D printer, the 3D UJ2207. I have it just, just down the way, right there, and I've printed some amazing things with it, and I've showed it off. I've showed you how to clean it and prep it. We actually did a really cool project with Frank and Thingergy and Chris over at the, at the clinic. It just, we've done cool stuff. And now finally, finally, we get to do a model showcase showing you incredible prints from three of your favorite designers. And first up, Printed Obsession. I'm gonna show you the first one and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about how we're gonna do this because this first from Printed Obsession is the potion seller. And I, I want you to take a look at the colors and, and how all the potions show up. The, the model looks incredible up close. And the reason the iPad is here, because unlike before, I'm gonna tell you the cost for these things. Show me the money! Unlike a lot of different industrial companies, Mimaki doesn't shy away from costs because they sell through Matter Hackers. You can actually go to matterhackers.com. There's a link down below, and you can look at the price of the machine that I'm running in my studio, the 3 uj 2207 Along with the machine, they also have materials there, which Mimaki calls inks, and you can get them there as well. So as of the filming of this video, prices are accurate and things aren't cheap. They cost money. And that's why the iPad is here because I have a breakdown of the cost of inks that each model takes. Now this doesn't take into account the cost of running the machine, nor does it take into account the cost of paying a human to clean the models. So this is just a bare materials cost at retail utilizing prices from Matter Hackers. Get over there! Let's get into it. This is the potion seller. Like I said, this took five hours and 59 minutes to print, and it costs $9.09 .09 in material to make it. That's not bad. We're getting somewhere. Next up is Gretel. Now you've, you've heard the story of Hansel and Gretel, right? So this is this is Gretel from Printed Obsession. And just look at the look at the ax handle. Look at the tiny fingers, the details, the braids. Look at the forked tail or the spiky tail. Look at the tail, the tail thing. Oh, the details in the dress. The the it's just it's it's wonderful. Gretel, six hours, thirty minutes to print, nine dollars and sixty one cents. Now this one, this one's cool. This is called an orc fighter, and the orc fighter. Look at the axe. Look at the details in that. Look at the colors of the skin. Look at all of the, the, the color and the, the texture that's in this model. Oops, don't fall over, Orc Fighter. You have orcs to fight. I picked up a trail. The Orc Fighter, eight hours. Eight hours to print this model at a cost of $12.51 US. The next one is a Fire Wolf. Now the Fire Wolf is printed using a certain functionality of the machine that's called skeleton color. Normally, when we talk about these prints, uh, there's a, a white material on the inside, and then the skin, the ink, the color, is just, is just a thin border around the model. In skeleton color, you swap that white ink for a clear ink, which looks incredible, because when you hold a light behind it, you can do stuff like that. You can. <laughs> it makes the material semi-translucent and you can do some really, really cool effects. This Firewolf right here, this took seven hours, 27 minutes to print. $10.73 was the cost of materials. Oh, look at the little wolfie. Ah, from Printed Obsession, there's Geckled Jerry. Uh, this is a, a, a gecko holding a diamond and again, printed in the skeleton color. So if you are to put a light under it, you can do stuff like this. <laughs> and that's kind of cool. So anyway, skeleton color, fantastic way of printing things, especially if you want to utilize the thing you're making with lights and being able to be semi-translucent and kind of uh, taking advantage of those properties. So get called Jerry, six hours to print at a cost of $8.63 of material. 
that's not bad. Printed Obsession, fantastic modeler, right? That's pretty cool. And uh, before we go on, I do want to ask you, do the prices surprise you? Or is this kind of what you considered models like this from the Mimaki would cost materials wise? Either or, let me know down below. Next up, it's models from Chelsea. Chelsea creates things, CCT a wonderful model designer and someone that puts out some incredible artwork in the 3D space. We're gonna start off with Zoidberg. Hooray! That's Zoidberg from Futurama, one of the best, if not one of the top three television shows to ever air on television. Zoidberg, of course, looks fantastic. Look at that. Look at the detail from Chelsea on this model. Zoidberg only took three hours to print, two hours, 58 minutes, and at a cost of $4.42 US. Within this entire showcase here, Zoidberg is actually the cheapest model, the model that costs the least. And if we, if we go with uh, how he was portrayed in the television show, that seems to fit. Oh. Next up is Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb. If you were a fan of Garbage Pail Kids, this is going to resonate with your memories and it looks fantastic. Look at that. Look at the, co the colors in the mushroom cloud. Astounding. Astounding. The Mamaki was able to recreate this just incredibly well. Adam Bum, 21 hours and 44 minutes to print at a cost of $41.52. Now I want to show you something special. This is the Chinese dragon. And unfortunately it broke because the contact point is, is really tiny when printed at this scale. And so during the cleaning process, unfortunately, this popped off and I could always glue it on. I just need to have like a microscope and, and like a toothpick of glue, but I kept it because it looks fantastic. The fireball does and the detail within the dragon is insane, especially around the mouth, the horns up top, the little hairs, the dragon, 27 hours, 15 minutes to print $57 and 50 cents. And so, when you clean these things, you want to try to be a little bit extra careful or else a $57 model, you may have to repair or reprint. And finally, I've got Chelsea's Sugar Skull printed three different ways. We've got, there we go, look at that. That is a, that is a fantastic model. If you look at the colors that are represented here and, and how they look, it's just, it's, it's astounding. Now, if you notice, there's outside color and there's a lot of white. And so if we Think about the things we can do with the Mimaki. One of them is skeleton color, where we replace the white with the clear. So I did that. So right next to it, here we go. This is printed in skeleton color. So it has the same coloring, but with skeleton color, you can make it get brighter. Look at that. That is so cool. Uh, one of the things too that you'll notice is the skeleton color does have sort of a yellowish tint to it. So the 3D UJ 2207, the smaller machine can't print with a super clear, clear. Bigger machine can print the, the, the super clear material. The way that you fix this is two ways. One, you can light bleach it. If I take it and I put it up next to some fluorescent lights for a month, it will bleach the yellow out of the material and it will just be clear. It's cool to see, and I'll be able to show you this in a couple months and what it looks like. You can also do a trick. So. In CMYK, you can add a little bit of cyan and a little bit of magenta, and that will make it appear clear. So, same model. This is clear with skeleton color, and this one is clear all the way through. This is a mono color replacement. If I wanted to do color on this, they would need to be separate shells. As far as the prices go, the retail prices of the inks from Matter Hackers, white is more expensive. And this is gonna run $12.45. The skeleton color and the clear is $12.13. And this is $12.15. The price for these is where the machine really starts to make sense if you're making gifts for something, I think. But uh, those are the prices, roughly $12.50 for each of these. There you go, those are Chelsea Creates Things, CCT. Those are Chelsea's 3D models printed on the Mimaki 3D printer. Next up, someone who we all know, someone who created the mini Joel, someone, someone who is so excited to see these, it is Wexter. And the first one I'm gonna show you is this dragon. Look at that. 
That's from Wexter right there. If that were to be printed, that would take 45 hours and cost $110 worth of material to print. The problem though, I did have an issue with the machine and we had to stop it. Oh no. But it left us with something that really is an interesting showcase because you get to see how there is white material on the inside and the skin is just a little bit of color on the perimeter. Kind of cool how it does it. You've probably seen this one before. I've showed this off on short form. This is the Wexter slightly disturbed bunny. Uh, the, the coloring on this is, is some of the best color that I've seen come out of this machine. I've shown this to people at Mimaki and they said they can't believe I was able to get this much detail out of that machine only knowing what I know. And I'm like, Psh, I got you. So this bunny, three hours to print at a cost of $4.42. Uh, oh, that's wrong. I scaled this up. So this is going to be a little bit more expensive. I'll, I'll get the right numbers for the bunny and then uh, we'll put them on the screen right here. <laughs> Probably one of the coolest prints I've ever done for, on this machine is the, the pumpkin spice warrior, the pumpkin spice warrior. And you can see this was around Halloween. He's got treats in his bag. He's got a pumpkin head. He's got his chain sword, like the the way that the machine reproduced the details on this model are just phenomenal. This is insane. The Pumpkin Spice Warrior, 50 hours, 27 minutes to print at a cost of $144.62 worth of material. This in material costs alone was $144.62. It looks cool. It looks supremely cool, but at a cost. Now I get to show you some stuff that I, I haven't shown yet that Wexter's done. And the, the first one is the Rocketeer bust. And it is so good. It is so, so good. Look at the helmet. Look at the shading on the jacket. Rockets in the back. Look at, look at the rocket the, oh, coming out. I am beyond, beyond thrilled with it. 29 hours, three minutes to print the Rocketeer bust at a material cost of $110.18. I don't know, you look at it though, up close and you start holding it, something that you could put on display. I bet that's worth it to some. <laughs> yes. Finally, we get, oh, this is, okay. Let me, let me get them ready here. Reed Richards, Sue Storm, the Human Torch, and the Thing. The Fantastic Four, these models by Wexter, he released these not long ago. And with the movie coming out, it was really exciting to kind of talk to him about these. And then I was like, dude, I need to print these on the Mimaki. So he prepared them for me and he gave them to me and I printed them out. And I love each and every one of these fantastic models. So let's take a look. Reed Richards, the arms kind of entangle each other. Uh, the, the hair is two colors made as a mini. It looks, it looks wonderful. Sue Storm was made with two shells. So uh, I had the standard color shell and then the feet and hands were one of the other shells. And I was able to do that monocolor replacement where I could add the cyan and the magenta to make it appear clear and not yellow. And I think it did a really good job. Of course, being the invisible woman, this is supposed to mean that you know these parts are invisible. So there you go. For the Human Torch, this was kind of an interesting one. Uh, Wexter put together a model and then had the outer kind of millimeter or two of thickness be a separate shell, which I could assign to clear. And when you have it that thick, meaning, meaning not that thick, uh, it works great. Just like we did with the eyeballs with Frank, we have kind of an outer coating here. And so that allows it to kind of let light hit it in a very specific way. So you can kind of see how the outside kind of has a, it can capture and refract light in a different way. That's what you can do with that sort of technique where you take the parts that you want in a model, make them separate shells, and then you can make uh, clear and color and skeleton color, and you can do all these cool things within the same model. And so there's some really cool things coming up that we could do, and I can't wait to show you, but before I do that, the thing, look at that. Oh my gosh, the orange on this is insane. So the blue, in the shorts and the four in the circle look good, but the orange of the thing is absolutely consistent around the whole character. And it just looks amazing. There's something else. I thought, what if, what if I took um, the Human Torch? What if I took the Human Torch 
and I did, I had it just all as one without that clear outer shell, and I did a skeleton color. We get something like that. So you get some translucence and you can do some cool effects. That's really cool, being able to do that, because now if you, if you take a model, like any, any one of these models, and then you do a, a, a skeleton color, then you add this new ability for the model to be something else it wasn't even necessarily intend, intended to be. So while we have this model, which is meant to look cool and, and stand there and be a showcase, this one can interact with light and the elements and provide a different experience to those who are viewing it. And I really like that. Well, let's talk about prices. Let's break these down. So any guesses, any guesses, pause the video, put a guess down below. I'd really be curious if you, if you were able to guess the actual cost of these things. Okay. Reed Richards, 18 hours to print $39 and 94 cents worth of material. Uh, Sue Storm, 13 hours, 32 minutes to print at a cost of $32.84. Torch, this is the Human Torch Clear, 15 hours, 12 minutes, and that was $34.59. Human Torch, the clear outer, but not fully clear, uh, that was gonna be 15 hours and 12 minutes as well, with a cost of $41.11. Remember, the white is more expensive than the clear as, yep, yeah. anyway. The Thing, The Thing, 12 hours, 54 minutes, at a cost of $31 and 78 cents. So all told, uh, these figures all together are just under 200 bucks. I'm trying to do some quick math here. So we've got, so 70, 100, 100, yeah. So under 200 bucks. It's, it's under $200 for these five figures. But I mean, look at them. Well, and just like that, I, I got to show you some amazing models printed with the Mimaki 3D printer. And in, in doing this, I also got to tell you about the costs associated with something like that. Remember the costs I told you were specifically for retail prices for matter hackers, and those can fluctuate depending on the global economy. But this is accurate as of filming end of April. And for those prices, that is materials only. So if you go to a service bureau and you want, say, a Fantastic Four set for yourself, you have to also take into consideration the human cost it, does, it takes to clean these, and you have to take into consideration the cost of running the machine. And then a service bureau has to profit a little bit for the business, so there's a cost there too. I, I hope it gave you a window into this incredible world, and I would I would love to have some questions because I know you're going to have some. Leave them down below, let me, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. But listen, if you if you made it this far, you are awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for cause you believe in. Full color print, all the things, and as always, high five.